Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria for meeting for the first time. It is a blessing. It is an honor to be able to share this message with you right now. I hope that it finds you with perfect divine timing as always. This message is really, really strikingly beautiful. It is so affectionate, it is so nurturing, it is so supportive to those it is meant for. And I really want to encourage you to bring the symbolism, the message to your ancestors. Talk to your ancestors about it. Talk to your spiritual guides about it. What is your higher self sense for you if this is a message that is meant for you or not? And if it's not, thank you so much for listening anyway. And for those that it is for, I ask that you send them a blessing and one day, I'm sure pretty soon that there'll be a message for you. So the vision that I got was actually that of a baby elephant, a gray baby elephant. And I saw the trunk of this baby elephant and it was reaching for eucalyptus, eucalyptus leaves. It was specifically eucalyptus leaves. It was not, it could not be replaced with anything, with any other plant. And this animal cannot be replaced with any other animal. It's very specifically these two, these two elements, right? So you have the elephant and then you have eucalyptus. The more that I sat with it, the more the messages from that vision began to unfold. First things first, there is a major acknowledgement to those who are on their spiritual journey and those who are on a journey towards personal and self-development and personal growth. The elephant specifically was a signal of youth and you learning and you reaching and grasping for knowledge and wisdom and full of expectancy, full of hope. The divine honors and sees your full potential and is almost jovial, laughing, joyful watching you grasp and reach for something so great. Spirit is saying that in this moment, regardless of how much you have learned personally about yourself, about the world, about others, about psychology, about spirituality, about magic, intention, whatever the journey has looked like for you, you are coming to a point of newness and a, a beginning. Regardless of your greatness, regardless of what you've already accomplished, regardless of what it is that you've already achieved, you're still baby steps, you're still learning. There's no question of the magnitude of the power, the sheer force of power that it is that you carry within you. This is something that has been passed on to you from generation to generation. It's in your ancestry, it's in your lineage. There are so many contributing factors and personalities into the development of who you are today. And with all of that incredible potential and amazing wisdom, you are still to be acknowledged as a beginner or a newbie in some in some aspect here along your journey. It doesn't matter if you've been practicing your spiritual rituals for 10, 15, 20 years. It doesn't matter if you have achieved a, a major in psychology. There's something about development, understanding the depths of hum of humanness and also of magic and setting intention. It's not the time, it's the energy, it's the vibe. And the divine is watching you, seeing all of your greatness, seeing all of what you are, are inevitably to grow into and, and all of what you are growing into now and is laughing not at you but alongside you at your desire for so much from this life, for your desire to give so much to others, there's this acknowledgement of those who are gifted, right? And Spirit is speaking directly to those, those who are gifted, 
there's a, an acknowledgement I'm hearing of your pain and your suffering in your growth, your growth as a human outside of what it is that you give and what you offer other people, but just growing pains that we feel here, here on earth when there's a lot of adjustments, a lot of shifts that are happening. Spirit is acknowledging your need and desire and your instinct to go back to your altar, to go back to your ancestors, to go back to the divine and bring your worries and bring the callous, bring the calluses, the part of you that is ugly, that is disformed, that is dysfunctional. Spirit is acknowledging how quickly you are to show up imperfect to to the divine to your ancestors and invite them in that's exactly how it should be as i say that i feel a surge of power through my body and i want to also say that it's not a perfect journey it's not always going to be a perfect journey it's not always going to be shameless there's going to be parts of you guilt self-sabotage parts of you that need to be soothed so deeply in your soul and your spirit it needs to be soothed because you carry on not only your own baggage but you're aware of the baggage of others you're hyper aware of your the baggage of your ancestors your guides those who've come before you you know the pain of this world and when i say guides i mean those who are the ascended masters who have lived through their own trial and error and it has not been easy in fact the, the the reality is is that their ability to be tremendous healers has come through great suffering that has been a major part of their story that's that has been a major part of their story the divine is so compassionate and so kind and so encouraging and gives is so quick to give peace to those who I just heard are performing their duties and when I heard the word performing I had to double check it yet um, I had to double check it because what do you mean by performing it means that you are actively moving through your duty every day you're doing your due diligence it's not that it's a performance it's not that it's a stage it's real it's authentic I heard the word tribulation or tribute but I'm also hearing trials and tribulations the two of them are connected through what it is that you're going through, through what it is that you, it's like I, I heard an undercurrent. You will be swimming, swimming. It'll, it'll feel like something will take you from underneath and pull you down an energy, a presence. Sometimes it's things that are directed towards you. Other times it's just the, the state of the world, the environment that's going on around you. And Spirit says, again, this is why it's, you need to continue to be so quick to bringing bringing to me not just your accomplishments or not just the things that is that you want to accomplish but also the callous parts of you that are bruised and battered and bleeding there's parts of you that are suffering there's parts of you that don't believe there's parts of you that are giving up there's parts of you that have doubt there's parts of you that need to be that are calling out and need to be heard There's parts of you that need to be heard. There's a part of your soul that is gonna be comforted. There's a part of your soul that is ready to be comforted. This part of you has been held off for a very long time. It's been closed off. You, you let it go at the end of that chapter and spirit is saying that it doesn't end there, let me in, because that's a part of you that I wish to heal, the part of you that I wish to soothe. When I tell you to let me in, when I tell you that it doesn't end, I mean it doesn't end there on a low point. It ends on a high point when you let me in and I heal it and it turns a tribulation into a tribute to my grace, to my mercy, to my blessing. Watch, 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 watch and learn and feel manifestation is so real is exactly is what I'm what is that I'm hearing and I'm also heard exactly exactly how I see it is how it will grow to be is how it will as how it was intended to be is the way that it will be that's how what spirit is saying right now for some of you guys the path is going to be imperfect it's going to be you're going to feel insignificant is the word that I just heard there's gonna be a part of you that feels diminished overlooked trampled on Spirit is bringing me back to the image, the symbolism of the elephant, the baby elephant kind of grasping for the eucalyptus leaves, like it was like reaching. There's something about play. 
For as many of you guys, you have been introduced or you're being invited to meet someone who is very playful. Despite a lot of stress and pressure and adversity in their life, they're actually very playful and jovial in their spirit. They're juvenile. Some of you guys might actually look down on this person. <laughs> oh man, spirit is calling you out. <laughs> Some of you guys might actually immediately look down to this person, but it's not that this person is better than you, but they have a lot to offer you, and this is why they are meant to come into your life at this moment in time. Do not second guess it. Do not sabotage this relationship. Be open to the joy, the youthfulness, the vitality that this person brings into your life. They are trying to help you. Let them in. I also want to talk to you now about eucalyptus so this is going to be controversial you guys know that the visions the messages that I see are not directly from me they come from the divine I've been channeling and seeing visions and hearing things my angels my guides I've seen archangels I've seen it since I was young I can really pick up on energies. So this message is not meant to offend anyone. It's me passing it on. I know that I'm saying this spirit is like giving me permission to even say this right now. This is for my own sake and my own well-being. It's something that I always feel like I have to do. Um, I know that on YouTube, this is a tool that I've used to channel or to pass on messages that I've channeled on and I give it to those who are meant to gravitate towards it. It's not a popularity contest for me. I say this with no intention to offend anyone or traipse over anyone's culture. Having said that, the divine was bringing up the history of eucalyptus and how the aboriginals, I believe I'm saying that correctly, of Australia would use it, this beautiful sacred plant to cleanse, to protect its strength, its vitality, the abundance that it brings, how, how the magic of how it grows. I don't know, I, I typically don't actually work with eucalyptus that often. I have my other herbs that I, reach for first when I'm creating an oil but there's something about the Australian ab the, orid, the, orid, the origin of Australian natives and the protection and the blessing and the gift of what eucalyptus brought what it brings the rituals the rites the, how it protects, that that herb, that plant was protected because of how much it gave to those who worked with it, who used it. Whether you feel called to work with this plant or not, and at the end of the day, you need to bring it to your own ancestors and your guides. You need to talk to your higher self about it, if you feel comfortable working with this herb or not, or this plant or not. If not, then you don't need to work with it. You can use something else. But there's something about needing to call in for strength and protection and vitality, especially when it is revolving around your abundance, your spiritual knowledge, your spiritual path, your protection. I'm also getting, and I was actually feeling this last night too, this might be a message for me, there's been some malicious energy being directed my way. Uh, most of it through the internet, people who are jealous, which I find wild because I'm generous in nature. So if you would ask, I'm more wired to give to you than to take from you. If you have questions, I'm more wired to answer those questions. I just need time to see them first. There's not a bone in my body that is malicious and what wishes to attack or heart, harm or hurt anyone. I'm more of a friend than I am an enemy to the majority. Having said that, I'm not a pushover. 
and I don't tolerate disrespect, nor do my ancestors, my angels, and my guides, nor should I. This isn't anything that was written verbally. It is energetically being sent my way recently. I think because i am come to a point in my life of, of peace. <laughs> and I know that that irritates a lot of people. Um, but this is a message for those who are walking their path who are spiritually gifted, who are very intuitive, not through working with tarot, exclusively working through tarot, or not pulling charts and looking at the astrology charts. It's, it goes more than that, it goes deeper than that. It's a handful of those who are walking the earth. It has always been that way. That those people are not threats to mankind, they're helpers, they're healers. But people's egos can get bruised if, they're, if it's not coming to them in the same way or if they feel entitled to this, those same gifts. It's like envying someone who's excellent at math when you're good at writing or, or science. One isn't greater than the other, but if you need to ask for help, you ask for it. And when you ask for that help, you wait because there's other people who are who also need that help because we're all in this together, are we not? right like we're all in this together so this message is directly towards those who are on their spiritual gifts who are developing developing their intuitive knowledge who are strengthening themselves but also could be vulnerable to the presence of others whether they are clearly clearly side by side with them or someone who is far off in the distance it doesn't matter there's a level of protection, and I'm also hearing the word sheerness, where something that could be, let's say if you're trying to get closer to the divine, or let's say you're trying to get closer to your angels and your guides, it's the, it's sheer for you, sheer, S-H-E-E-R, so that you can see clearer. It's not so thick, it's not so filtered. It's, it's easier for you to get to it with there being a certain level of protection. So there's something here about calling that in. I just heard the word creating it, creating that for yourself. I'm also hearing that for those that are have people that do not know them or wish to know them and they're harboring resentment towards them. For those that are on the receiving end of that, stay focused. I was saying this on my Twitter, which is now called X last night, but um, I was saying this last night, how there are gonna be times in your life where you're meant to keep your head down, where you're meant to stay focused. This is to protect you and to prevent you from seeing what people are saying, what people are doing, because it would stop you, halt you from doing what you're called to do not intentionally it's not like you're intentionally trying to be distracted or to lose focus it's just that you're human and if you start to look around too much and see what people are saying or what people are doing it will make those voices will be louder than the voice of the divine telling you that this is what <laughs> you have to do or this is what you should be doing there's a spider that was right there So I wanna bring this message around full circle because I feel like I said everything that I said. This vision of this be this cute little elephant who's has full of tremendous potential. You're, that is you. You are being honored and acknowledged and supported in your, in your journey. You, there's still so much to learn. There's still so much to do. There's so much to achieve, there's so much to accomplish. It won't always be monetar monetary, monet monetarily, monetary accomplishments and achievements, although those are be factored in, you'll be provided for. It will be wisdom, it will be knowledge, it will be things that have been, it's like storytelling, it's, it's, um, 
like pathways to, to achieve certain things. And by pathway, I don't mean an actual physical pathway to like that you would walk down in the forest. It's a way to achieve something, to accomplish something, whether that be in the spiritual realms, whether that be in our physical realms, it's a, a pathway to get from point A to point B within your life, whether through magic, through intention, whatever the, whatever the vibe is. You guys are the ones to remember. Having said that, you might have terrible memory. I can relate to that. In your everyday life, you might not remember what you had for lunch or dinner the day before that, but you'll remember and hear the voices of your of your ancestors, the rituals that worked for them, or one, one or a few in particular who worked magic and intention and knew what they were doing, were healers to the community, spent a lot of time by themselves, focused. Why? Because the voice of the people is brutal. The intentions of people can be brutal. I keep hearing people who harbor resentment towards you. These are the same people who are trying to strike you down or trying to look for something wrong because they, they need to they, they doubt, they doubt goodness in humanity. They doubt actual true intentions. They doubt magic and manifestation. They doubt it. Spirit, as I'm saying that, Spirit says that that's okay because the more that you stay focused, the more that the same people who have thrown darts towards you as you were learning and growing and doing your best and being of service to others are the same people who, because you've come, at, come to peace with your own journey with the, the the highs and the lows of that and all that you had to learn while still following the voice of the divine is going to ultimately ins inspire those who hated you and those who don't like you and those who need you that's why it's so harsh sometimes that's why it feels like a punishment that's why it feels so brutal so stay focused i'm also hearing to stay kind specifically towards yourself. You might be harder on yourself than you are to other people. And also there's someone here that is, again, supposed to be coming in who's playful and joyful and really allow that person in because they really are a, a big advocate for you. They really, they really are looking out for you. All right, my loves, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get this message up to you as quickly as I can. I was going to make a TikTok of this, but <laughs> I suck at technology, I really do. I just, social media too. Shout out to my neighbor who I know is over the fence listening. I hope that this message resonated with you too as well. I'm sending you my blessings. Thank you for looking out for my tree. It shades me. I'll see you guys in my next video, bye. Welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. This is the space to ground, grow, and connect with magic and intention. May this video inspire you to come home to yourself and remind you of your own magic within. I hope this message reaches you with perfect divine timing. Now grab your favorite tea and let's go ahead and dive right in.